as mentioned, just finished checking the canister of Trump's trunk, empty, but one side is a toxin. So he's about to leave the island because he was going to use the canister to trap the center. So I don't know if it's going to buy weapons to the terrorists. He's been targeting the tools and people from the mainland. That you were being careful. So we have the asset forfeiture provision, but the word out that you're given to our records is false. It's a lie. If you thought we couldn't trace the serial numbers, maybe you would finally start spending the money. I never have. Because you never stole them. Chen. You got your money back. But this girl. I'm sorry. Not much. What's going on, RK? How you doing? Good. Glad to hear it. You having a good Saturday? I'm good. We just got this big box delivered. So we're about to crack it open. We got we got this right here. I'm just gonna set it off to the side. Exactly like my little one right here. like I'm going to have to call them because it was broken in uh, in shipping. Which really, really sucks. 
And actually, do you know what? No, I shouldn't. This shouldn't be an issue. Too bad. I'll uh, I'll glue this into place uh, because this is going to be on the top, so it won't actually matter. Paper. going on Geronimo It's exactly the same as this rack. Um, so we're going to stack. Once we get all this plastic off, I'll uh, clean it up, sanitize it, and uh, get it stacked. on that rack. This entire rack right here is going to be obsolete, okay? Moving on up, Geronimo. Getting, getting nice stuff. Uh, 
All right, one more side to do. I think you came in just uh, just a little too late, Geronimo, but it did break a little bit. Um, this rack was, um, with shipping and everything from a North Carolina RK was, uh, actually shipping was free because it's over like $150 or whatever it is. Uh, but the entire rack, so taxes and all that stuff included was, uh, like 550 Really, it was probably closer to like 540 because I think it was like 537 and some change. These are uh, little 11 quart tubs, uh, so it's more like a juvenile rack. I'll be getting, uh, once I pay this rack off, then I'm going to get a CB70 rack, which will make that one obsolete. Um, goal is to get nothing but these. Now we can clean this up a little bit. Where are my paper towels? Um, the things that are going to go in here is all the ones that I showed in the live yesterday. <coughs> um, so I've got a GHIA female, a Firefly female, a normal female, a Spinner Blast female, a Bumber, Bumblebee female, a Yellow Belly male, um, a Fire Het Clown female, a Het Hide male, a GHI male, um, let's see, that's the male, that's the other yellow belly, so they'll probably go in there, and then I've got something in there and something in there, so, oh, I've got my, uh, my vanilla phantom in there, and then I can't remember, I think that's another yellow belly there. I completely agree, Geronimo. Clean up the backside. 
That's all cleaned up, so now we can lift it up into place. Tree, move the top two. Look at how beautiful that looks. And we can't forget this piece, which also has plastic on it. That's the goal. I mean, I think I think the next stack that I get, though, is going to be the CB70s um, for the adults, because a lot of these are going to be growing up. Um, but I think you'll I think you'll actually likely be right, uh, because I'm going to need I'm going to need like two more of these uh, for all of these babies. Uh, as they grow up, because these same racks um, can, they can fit anywhere from hatchling all the way up to sub-adult, uh, just by switching out the tubs. Yeah, that too. I'm uh, I'm hoping that uh, that both Chrissy and Cindy lay eggs this year. Once I uh, once I feed the boys, then uh, I'll so like Monday I'll uh. Because today is, today is my uh, maintenance day. Hey, what's going on, JLG? Uh, so today is my maintenance day and everything. So um, I'll clean out, clean out the rats. Uh, and I feed all of these guys on Saturdays. Uh, so once I feed uh, my fire hat clown male and my yellow belly male, Today, then by Monday, I'll uh, put them back in with the uh, with the girls. Nice, sixty six subscribers. 
to keep in mind, RK, it's not really all about how many subscribers you get. It really is, at least not for me. It really is about, um, you know, the quality of my content. As long as I focus on the quality of the content that I put out, which admittedly isn't all that great, then the subscribers will come. Um, but if you value the uh, success of your channel specifically and only on your subscri subscriber count, then really you do it for the wrong reasons, I think. Absolutely, Geronimo, and my niche just happens to be whatever the heck I want to do. Today, it's setting up a, a rack. But now we have this piece to put in, which should just slide in right there. If it's not sliding in, that tells me something somewhere needs to give. I, I feel what it is. shelf in with a piece of home in the way. Honestly, I mean, yeah. I think it's going to go great, JLG. All right. Now, the last thing that we have is in one of these tubs. I thought it was like right there. There it is. is a Vivarium Electronics bag. And what is in that bag? Why, nothing more than a white piece of paper, a thing, another thing, a bigger thing with a pointy thing and a holy thing and a box. Oh. So that there is a Vivarium Electronics VE300X2, uh, which means that through this one thermostat, I can control both the top and the bottom rack, which is great. Thank you. 
And being that this is relatively short, I can put it up top and I can still see. Yay! So, hey, Shelly. Come on, untangle. going to make the bottom rack should the bottom rack be number one or number two let's make it let's make it number two Pulling apart the uh, the probes, and since this one's going to be on the top, I don't need all of this cable. I only need probably about half of it, and one length for that. Push tie it back up. Sorry, RK, I don't have any ball pythons. where I can get to the back. All right, so number one, we'll go there. same spot that the current one is in. We'll leave that there for a minute. We 
need one length of that. To go to zone one and we're going to need all of this. I felt like that is probably good. Go to zone two, and I'll uh, I'll clean all this wiring up later. But now that we've got that, let's take this thermostat and set it off to the side because we no longer need it. But I need to pull the probe out. Snake number one, snake number two comes out. There we go. And before I put them in, let's actually get this probe in place. There's these, uh, on these racks, there's little grooves in the wood that uh, keep the probe right where it needs to be. There we go. monkey <coughs> all right so now we can we have a an extra thermostat for something All right. Now we can unplug this and plug it into there. And rotate this whole thing into place. Just do straight up on off. There we go. <coughs> Set daytime temperature. Now I know that. These uh, these tubs are a little thick, uh, so to so I set it to about 92 degrees. No night drop, which means I don't need to do. 
anything there. So now we've got our thermostat working beautifully. Uh, set it about ni set 92 degrees on uh, both sides. Um, although number two. Let's make sure daytime temperature enter. Okay, daytime temp number one is 92. So that's this guy here. Daytime temp number two is 92. Let's see if it comes. Okay, so a night drop of zero degrees and a night drop of zero degrees. Let's uh, change the alarms. All right, so the uh, the bottom is at 85 degrees right now, and the uh, top is at 72 degrees, so both of them are working. Let's make sure that the heat tape is heating up. I kind of feel it a little bit. It'll, uh, it'll take some time, so now we can finish cleaning the rack up. I might actually open that uh, little bag that I just pulled out. I didn't do it on the last one, um, but I imagine they put in a little piece of thermal tape. Um, so I imagine it's there for a reason. I just don't know what that reason is. towels and we do some more cleaning. Uh, this is definitely the goal, Geronimo. And uh, this is why you always clean your racks and your cages when you get them. Uh, comes from comes pre-installed with the heat tape, Shelly. Uh, 
Uh, RK, no, I didn't make any of my racks. I bought them all. Um, reptilebasics.com. That is not a paid promotion, but if they do want to uh, sponsor me, I wouldn't turn them down. is we pull the drill out. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, too much white and it's just bad. Uh, Geronimo, it is indeed. So I'm going to trying to you guys over here and we have to plug the lap 
laptop back in. Geronimo, honestly, if you can, uh, for a laptop like that, it's almost cheaper just to buy a new laptop, um, sadly. But uh, if you can remove the battery, uh, you can still use it plugging in. In fact, uh, they say that uh, once your battery gets to be about 98% or so, that you should remove the battery anyway if it's plugged in. Okay, well, if it's just uh Ooh, got to drill lots of holes. This is not the fun part.
gonna say I think these uh I think these racks were made for uh for really small people. Uh, yes, Shelly. Now, I'm only doing five holes per side um, because I know exactly how many holes per side to, uh, to do based on um, my, my substrate and, you know, all the factors involved, how heat, how how hot I keep the, uh, the tub. Um, and so I know how to, I know exactly how many holes it takes to get the humidity down. Um, if you live in a drier climate, it's going to be a little bit easier. So you'd use less holes. Um, like here, I'm, I'm not too super far from the ocean, but like if I pull my hygrometer out, um, Humidity is probably going to be somewhere between like 60 and 70 percent um, and sometimes gets gets more just ambient humidity. Um, and so then within the tub with the extra humidity from like the the water evaporation, then uh, it usually gets up to about 100 percent within the tubs if I don't drill any holes. Now to figure out that I needed to do five holes, it was uh, it was a little tricky. Um, what I ended up doing was I I actually did uh, a hole on each side here in one tub, and then I left it for a few hours and with my hygrometer inside and then checked it again um if it if it was too high then i drilled another set of holes um until it was at the perfect level <laughs> I mean, G-rated, you can totally come and help me.
This is going to take forever. I've never, I've never understood why they call them finals G-rated because it's not like they're the last thing you're going to, the last test you're going to have to take. nicer oh all right that's half of them done i'm not going to do them all right now because that would just uh, be kind of lame but uh i'll eventually i'll get uh the other the other six drilled and then I'll sanitize them in sanitize each tub inside and out, let them dry out for a couple of hours uh, and then get them put back in, uh, throw some substrate into them, uh, check my temperatures and just keep keep checking my temperatures and uh, go grab my uh, hygrometer uh, to check my humidity, make sure that it's perfect. Uh, but before I put any snakes in there, I have to go and buy uh, new new water bowls for this rack because i don't have any uh any extras for for this size tub um and i have to make sure that my temperatures are 100 percent spot on uh so i'm going to be doing all that throughout the day while you guys are out uh sipping mojitos and having fun and yeah <laughs> Geronimo. Um, no, I'll uh, I'll definitely I'll finish those out. It'll probably take me like another 10, 15 minutes um, to get those drilled out. And then, of course, uh, clean them out, uh, clean the tubs out with my uh, sanitizing solution, let it dry out and then uh, start doing what needs to be done. But uh, with that. I'm going to go shopping. I need to go get some some uh, more frozen and some water bowls. May make a stop over at Home Depot or Lowe's and just kind of look at some 
some wood options. Um, not really sure, but uh, because today is feeding day, I'll be back tonight. Uh, we'll get all of the we'll get all of these guys moved into their new tubs here um, or there because a couple of them will go into that into that rack into that rack there and we'll uh, do our feeding tonight. Uh, so until then, I'll see you.